Isolde Rochevel is back as Queen Charlotte presiding over the social season and she's determined to uncover everyone's favourite gossip, <laughs> Lady Whistledown. Very good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. OK, what can you tell us about the next season? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can say that we're more of the same. I can say that the wonderful Jonathan Bailey will be in centre stage. Mm -hmm. uh, he plays Anthony and, you know, I think it's wonderful and I've never seen it before that we have a show that's a real ensemble show that's under the umbrella of, you know, the, our Bridgerton world. Yes. But at the same time, every single season has a different love experience, a different relationship. Do you know what I mean? That is explored. It's all um, the showrunner, as they say, yes. Shonda Rhimes. Yes. Well, she's our executive producer. Yeah, but she's the big boss. She's, basically. yeah, absolutely, yeah. big boss lady. Chris and, Van Dusen is our showrunner. And she is a powerhouse in American television, yeah. isn't she? What is it like to work on a Shonda Rhimes project? She's also behind mm. Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. Um, it, it's really incredible because the whole ethos of Shondaland is about inclusion, is about diversity, is about pushing the boundaries so that we can see shows and people and characters and storylines that reflect the world that we're living in today. So, yeah, under that queendom mm. is a really wonderful ethos, you know, that will continue... Hopefully, you're you're kind of, of you're kind of living the actor's dream, aren't you? Because you're <laughs> in a monster hit. You're the monster star of it. Or one, oh, well, all right. I, I, thank you, know. you but um, <laughs> there right. are many other people. Of course, involved. but come on. I mean, come on. I mean, it is it, it is very much a vehicle for you. And boy, do you yeah, drive it. Yeah, she's the top of the food chain. Yeah, isn't ex she, exactly. Charlotte. Did you did you have any in indication of that when you got that first phone call and you maybe saw the first draft script that yeah. this was going to be a global phenomenon? No, we didn't. Uh, as far as we were concerned. And we were doing a little, a little show about a single mum with <laughs> eight kids who were trying to navigate society, yeah. a society that had, you know, gossip, romance, um, yeah. But then we quickly found out on yeah. Christmas Day how wonderful everybody reacted. What it was What do you really mean great. on Christmas Day? Christmas Day, it came out that the was first the day it season. That was the day it started. And the yeah. reaction was. It was instant. immediate. Yeah. yeah. I mean. It, Bridgerton, the books, Julia Quinn's books, already had the Brazilian following, which we were warned about. They're mad about the books in Brazil. And how does that manifest itself for you? Uh, it manifests itself with lots of lovely people messaging me on social media. Constantly. <laughs> Constantly. But they're gorgeous and, you know, I think it's... When you have a fan base as strong as uh, the, the books do, to then be able for them to, you know, welcome you into the world yeah. is so... in a positive way is really, you're, really great. I've, I've read that in, in some way, shape or form, you, you're channelling the late Princess Margaret. Not Princess Margaret. I'm channelling my mother who met Princess Margaret. Ah, got it. Yeah, uh, at one time. I think in Barbados she met Margaret. Did uh, you... And did you know very much about that meeting? Cos it feels like your family's been touched by royalty. Uh, uh <laughs> Well, yeah, <laughs> I don't know about that. It was a meeting of great minds when Margaret came to Barbados and um, dignitaries that my mother and my uncle, my great-uncle, knew, uh, wanted to have, you know, important people of the time, of the area, um, at this dinner. Um, you say you've got many Brazilian fans. Yes. We understand that another big fan is at the top of government, Rishi Sunak. Oh. Queen Charlotte is his favourite <laughs> character. Really? Yep. Yeah. Anyone else oh, that you can count? That's really, that's really cool. <laughs> well, Thanks, have, Richie. Well, he might have been being economical with the truth, but that's not... Yeah. Oh, oh, very oh, good. No, very man. good. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Um, it's good to see you. You too. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Great to see you. Thank you so much thank for having me. Golda, thank you.